welcome to today's edition of Rhapsody of Realities Reading Party. God bless you. Today is Monday, 25th January, our year of preparation. Our theme for today's message is the fullness of the Spirit. Our theme scripture is from John chapter 7, verse 38. He that believed on me, as the scripture had said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. My name is Rhapsody of Realities. Pastor Chris says, Why should any Christian read this and still be asking for more power or double portion anointing? It's a contradiction. You have the Spirit living in you in His fullness. The anointing is the effect of the power and presence of the Holy Spirit. Why ask for the effect when you have the causative personality in you? The Holy Spirit is the power, strength, and wisdom of God. He is the Spirit of grace, and He lives in you as a person. He took up His habit in you with the totality of His being. The fullness of His glory and power should be freely expressed in and through you. The Holy Spirit in you makes you more than a man. Say to yourself, I'm a superman. There is a divine energy working in you. It doesn't burn out. Neither does it require replenishing. Refuse therefore to be limited by your physical ability. Your potentials are limitless. Say my potentials are limitless. The Holy Spirit works in you mightily to achieve results that are beyond human ability and comprehension. Colossians chapter 1 verse 29. Affirm this in your life always. Philippians chapter 2 verse 13 says, For it is God which worked in you both to do both to will and to do of his good pleasure. The God that works in you is the Holy Spirit. He causes you to be willing and then propels you to do the Father's will. You can stir up his power to flow in and through you more by speaking in tongues and meditating on the word. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Messenger Angel. I transform lives. For further studies, you read John chapter 3, verse 34, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 17 to 19. If you're on the two year Bible reading plan, you follow the scriptures down the two year Bible reading plan. In fact, Say this words after me. I'm full of power, grace and glory because the Holy Spirit lives in me in his fullness. I'm perfect in him, exuding his righteousness, peace, joy and excellence in jesus name amen glory if you've never received salvation if you've never received Christ into your heart. If you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised Him from the dead. 
and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God.